Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is Eisenerz and today I have another quick gameplay between Rafa, Robin, Memo and me. Rafa goes first with his Inala Wizard chess list. His opening hand consists of Tarnished Citadel, Arid Mesa, City of Brass, Felwar Stone, Dark Ritual, Ragavan and Ad Nauseam. This was a sure keep because it guaranteed a turn to Ad Nos. Robin goes second with his Kinnon stacks list. His opener consists of a Snow Covered Island, Snow Covered Forest, Mox Diamond, Lanawa Elves, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Curiosity and God Pharaoh statue. He kept this hand mostly to screw with Memo because that's his job as a younger brother. Memo goes third with his Najila NBC list. His opening hand consists of a Scalding Tarn, City of Brass, Mox Diamond, Mana Crypt, Dockside Extortionist, Demonic Consultation and Savine's Reclamation. This hand allows Memo to cast a turn 1 Najila and Tutor for the Revi very easily. I go last on my usual Urza Power Scepter list. My opener consists of two Snowcard Islands, Jeweled Amulet, Tormod Script, Winds of Rebuke, Mel the Mixture and Force of Will. I kept this slower hand because I was last in turn order, wanted early interaction against Inala and cheap removal against Kinnan and or Najila. All the decks can be found in the description box down below. And now let's get started with the actual game. Rafa starts the game by drawing a card. He then proceeds to play a City of Traders. He taps the city to cast a Felpor Stone and he passes his turn. Robin draws and plays a Snow Covered Forest. He follows up with a Mox Diamond. He then plays an Arcane Signet and he taps his Signet to cast a Lenoir Elves. He then passes his turn. Memo draws and plays a City of Brass. He then casts a Mana Crypt and casts a turn 1 Najila. He then follows up with a Mox Diamond and then he passes his turn. I draw and play a Snow Covered Island. I cast a Jeweled Amulet and followed up with a Thomas Crypt and then I pass my turn. Rafa untaps and draws. He floats two of the City of Traders and plays an Arid Mesa. He then cracks his Arid Mesa. He uses Black Mana to cast a Dark Ritual then follows up with an Ad Nauseam, to which I react with a Force of Will. Ad Nauseam gets countered and Rafa casts a Ragavan, paying for it with his Felwa Stone. He then passes his turn, Robin untaps and draws. He plays a Snow Covered Island, taps to cast Kinnan, and then taps his Mana Rocks and Dogs to cast God Pharaoh Statue. Memo reacts by casting a Deadly Rollick, targeting Kinnan. Kinnan dies. And with Godfarer's statue still on the stack, Memo casts Demonic Consultation. He looks for a Derevi and then Godfarer's statue resolves. Robin passes his turn. Memo draws. He plays a Bloodstained Mire and cracks it for a Plateau. He then casts a Dockside Extortionist. to which I react by activating my jeweled amulet. And then I also crack my Tormod's Crypt to exile Rafa's graveyard. I don't target Memo because his Underworld Breach was exiled with the Demonic Consultation. Memo gets five treasures. He then pays 5 mana to cast the Revi and on ETB he untaps his Mox Diamond. He moves to combat with Najila, trading a Warrior token which will give him 2 Derevi triggers and he uses those Derevi triggers to untap his lands. And then he passes his turn. I untap. And draw. Play a snow covered island and I unfortunately have to pass my turn. Rafa also untaps and draws. 
He plays a Tarnished Citadel and then swings with Ragavan at me, flipping into a Ponder and creating a treasure token. He then passes, Robin untaps and draws. He plays a Polluted Delta and cracks it for a drop. And before he switches phases, Rafa casts a Pyroblast targeting the Ravi. Pyroblast resolves and the Ravi grows to the graveyard. Robin then casts Kinnon again. And he follows up by casting a Talisman of Curiosity. Memo untaps and draws. He pays 5 to cast Savine's Reclamation targeting the Ravi. Savine's resolves and Memo gets the Ravi back, untapping his city on ETB. He then moves to combat, attacking me with Najila and three warrior tokens, giving him four Derevi triggers. Two go on Mox Diamond and two go on City of Brass. With the triggers on the stack, Robin channels Boseju, targeting the City of Brass. Memo gets a Scrubland and with the first trigger he untaps his Mox Diamond, floating a mana. He does that again with the second trigger, float another mana. And then the last two triggers fizzle because the City of Brass is no longer in play. Memo then taps his Scrubland, which he got from Boseju, and cracks his last treasure to activate Najila, which will now give him infinite combat steps with the Revi. He can now repeatedly activate Najila in his combat step to go for infinite combat steps, making more and more warrior tokens, killing us all with combat damage. Alright, that was a turn 3 win for Memo. He almost managed to get a turn 2 win there, but Robin's God Pharaoh statue and me cracking my Tomot script made Memo exactly one mana short to combo off right then and there. We tried to deal with Memo's inevitable win attempt, but the GPS unfortunately stopped me from casting my bounce spell and Memo had exactly enough mana to bring back his Derevi from the graveyard to combo off. Casting the Pyroblast at Memo's beginning of combat would have stopped him, but Rafa was forced to cast the Pyroblast while Memo was short on mana, so he could not interact and Robin could back him up. Anyway, it was a great game and definitely a great showcase for the impact of stacks pieces, the power of 5 color decks and the importance of turn order. In total, the game lasted 3 turns and the MVP here was probably Derevi or maybe Najila. I don't know to be honest, you decide. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. It really helps to feed the algorithm and get my videos out there to a larger audience. We just cracked 2.4k subscribers and with a little help we could actually crack 3k this year. That would be incredible. If you want to play some games with us, hop over to my Discord server and if you want to support my channel even more, please consider becoming a patron. You can find all the links down below. Thank you for watching my videos. This is Eisenherz and Auf Wiedersehen.